Well, isn't it kind of funny whenever you're working on vehicles professionally and the last thing you want to do is work on your own vehicle. Like, I enjoy working on my Lincoln because I'm, you know, it's a toy. I'm having fun with it and stuff like that. You do the customer's vehicle right. You try to get everything approved, everything down to the nitty-gritty, the bolt, the seal, everything, whenever it comes down to stuff that even could be reused. You're like, man, I don't want that vehicle coming back. I need to make sure everything's done when I do it. But when it comes to your own vehicle, you cut corners. So you guys remember, what, two months ago, a month and a half ago, whenever I put the 373 gear set in the Lincoln? Well, I did everything. New seals, new new shims, new bearings, new, new everything. But then when I got to the outside of the vehicle, I'm putting the axles back in. I said, you know what? These axle seals look fine. I'm not going to replace them. They look newer. Stick the axles back in. I've been driving it for six weeks. And I noticed that about a week ago, my braking seemed a little off. Like, it seemed... It was still good, but it was just a little off. Something was weird. It just didn't feel normal. Well, I decided to come into work on my day off. You can see I'm in the shop right now. And it's a Saturday. And it's not that busy. So I grab one of the racks. I put it up. I'm going to do my oil change and stuff. And as soon as I get it going up in the air, I look in the, in the wheel. And it's completely wet all the way around. And I said, damn it. Why did I cut corners on my own vehicle and now it's going to cost me more work. Luckily, the labor and stuff you eat uh, yourself, which is nothing on these cars, just like you know anything up until the new F-150s, the new Mustangs, it's pretty much all done the same way. There wasn't very much that's changed in the last 20, 25 years. And it's, in some cases, could be longer, you know. You get it up in the air, pull the wheels, pull the two 10 mil bolts that hold the caliper in, drop them off to the side. You can let them hang. They're not very heavy. Uh, pull the rear diff cover out off drain everything pull your little uh, your pinion pin uh, just pull the bolt out slide the pin out push the axle in slide the c clips out shove the axle out pry your seal out put a new one in put everything back together but it's time consuming right so i expected to just come in do the oil change clean the car up here car wash and stuff detail it real quick and then be on about my day well, that turned into two and a half hours later of cleaning gaskets off, putting seals and stuff in, pulling the tires, going down, or uh, degreasing the tires and stuff because it's got fluid all over it, cleaning around the, the, the wheel well where the fluid and stuff started to come out, you know. It's when you cut corners that it costs you the most time. Now, instead of me putting a set of, you know, uh, $16 seals in the car from here, you know, OEM seals, it's cost me... 75 extra dollars for seals and fluid and uh, a new gasket for the rear end and all that stuff and don't cut corners all right guys that's how my day's going so far hopefully it gets better